Hello everybody, today we'll be recreating three dishes from cartoons and TV shows. I'm talking about Scooby-Doo, The Big Bang Theory, and The Simpsons. Let's do this. Let's start with Scooby-Doo. I think everyone knows about this cartoon. Scooby's favorite treat is obviously Scooby Snacks. And for a Scooby Snack? No way! No way! And for two Scooby Snacks? After the success of the cartoon, Scooby Snacks became a reality. They began to produce cookies in the shape of a bone. Let's cook them for ourselves. We take some butter and separate out 125 grams with a knife. Let's open it up. And dump it into a bowl. We open up 240 grams of powdered sugar. And dump it into the butter. By the way, we have vanilla flavored powder. Now with a fork, we mix the soft butter with the powder. Until you're left with a homogenous mass. Then we crack in two eggs. And mix again. Now for the honey. We drop one tablespoon into the dough. We take a second container, and we pour half a kilogram of flour into it, a teaspoon of baking powder, and quite a bit of cinnamon. Now we just need to pour the dry mixture into the wet one, and mix it well, first with a fork, and then with your hands. We're left with a shortbread dough like this. We leave it in the bowl, and in the refrigerator for an hour, now you can work with it. Unfold the parchment and cut off the excess. We spread part of the dough on top and roll it out. On a custom 3D printer, we had this bone mold made for us. Just press it into a thin layer. And we did the same throughout the whole dough. We removed the excess. and transfer the parchment to a baking sheet and into the oven. At 180 degrees for 20 minutes. It would seem that our scooby doo snacks are ready, but no. If we dig deeper and go onto Wikipedia, we can see that producer William Hanna always imagined that scooby snacks were cookies with caramel. So let's cook up this caramel. Pour a cup of sugar into a saucepan. Also a cup of water, lemon juice, a couple of drops and literally a teaspoon of honey. We put all this on to heat up, and when the caramel boils, we keep stirring without breaking. When we are left with a golden color like this, the caramel is ready. We take a cookie. We lower it halfway into the caramel so that it sticks to it from below, and leave to dry on a sheet of parchment. And we do this with all of the cookies until they're ready. We take them off the parchment, and our Scooby Snack is ready. But let's make a box for them, to make it the same as in the cartoon. We need the picture itself and a cardboard box. Let's unwind some double-sided tape, and paste it to the box. We cut off the excess, and remove the upper cover on the tape, and stick on the picture. Let's turn it over. And with the help of a stationary knife, we cut off the excess paper with the protrudes. That's it, our box is ready. Now we fill it with Scooby Snacks. It tastes like vanilla cookies with cinnamon and caramel. It is clear that a person would love this too. But in the cartoon, Scooby-Doo ate them himself, so we're gonna test this out of my dog. He's also not to about to refuse a treat like this, so if you would like my dog to taste test all the food in my videos, then just write about this in the comments. If there are a lot of comments, then this will be our second taste tester. You can't fool a dog for sure. The next in line is the TV series The Big Bang Theory. The main characters really, really love Thai cuisine, and Sheldon's favorite dish was rice noodles with shrimp. Let's cook it. It's very simple. From vegetables we need leeks, bell peppers, carrots, and green onions. 
first, switch off the leaks and with rings. We cut out the stem of the bell pepper. We put it down and cut off only the tasty part. Now cut it into strips. Then for the carrot, we peel it quickly. And with the same peeler, we make very thin slices of carrots. We fold them and cut them into thinner strips. Now we divide them in half. The main vegetables are ready. We put the frying pan on the stove and add some oil. And just toss in the vegetables. Fry them for about a minute. We need really small, already peeled shrimps. We put them into the frying pan and fry them up. We take out some rice noodles, open them up, and put half the pack in a bowl. Pour some boiling water on top, and we will need the noodles to be completely immersed in hot water. Leave them for about three minutes, then drain them through a colander, and immediately rinse under cold water. We take some soy sauce, and we add it to the shrimp and vegetables. Also some fish sauce. And we'll put our noodles on top. For spices, first we have black pepper, then chili pepper, dried garlic, and a little salt. Now you just need to mix all this together so that the noodles absorb the soy sauce and spices. Now it's time to chop the green onions and sprinkle them on top. Mix it well again. And we will use a box like this for plating. Sprinkle the noodles on top with onion again. And pour some eel sauce in. And sprinkle with sesame seeds. Pop in some chopsticks. And the rice noodles with shrimp are ready. Let's try it. Yeah, this is really tasty. Very unusual and honestly elegant. I think the Sheldon would definitely approve of this. The last cartoon for today is The Simpsons. And there are Claire with a million calories. There are a million calories in this eclair, covered with so much dark chocolate that it absorbs the light around all over. so dark. Eclairs are a very capricious dessert, so we will do everything strictly according to the measurements. We open up our milk and measure out 250 milliliters and pour it into the saucepan. Now butter, we open up some and we throw 250 grams into a saucepan. 250 milliliters of water into the same place. Two tablespoons of sugar. And we put all of this on the stove and melt the butter. Wait until the mixture boils and open up some flour. We need exactly 300 grams. Pour the flour into the saucepan. To mix everything normally, we use a mixer. And now we're left with a homogenous custard dough, which we put into a big bowl and wait for it to cool down. Now we need a whole tray of eggs. We crack in a few of them. And mix with the same mixer. When all 10 eggs have been beaten in, the dough will be the way that you need it, very viscous and gradually sliding up the spatula. We transfer this into a pastry bag. Cut off the tip and squeeze out a thick strip of dough. And one more time. Now we send these bad boys into the oven. After 40 minutes at 200 degrees, our eclair is ready. 
Everything is as it should be. It's big and roomy inside. So let's prepare the filling. We take a cup and fill it with milk. Pour half the cup into the bowl. We break one egg in there. A couple of tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of flour. And vanilla extract. Mix this mixture with a whisk until smooth. We put the saucepan on the stove and pour in the second half of the milk. As soon as it starts to boil, let's pour out our mixture into a saucepan. And stirring constantly with a whisk, we wait until it thickens. The custard is almost ready. Now we just need to cut off 50 grams of butter. We throw this into the hot cream and mix it in. Now we put all this into a cooking bag. We pierce the eclair and fill it up with custard. We were surprised, but almost all of our cream fit into one eclair. It's very heavy. Now we need some good dark chocolate. It is in shavings. So we send them into the saucepan, reduce the temperature on the stove to almost a minimum, and melt the dark chocolate granule, stirring occasionally. We are waiting for it to melt completely until it becomes really, really glossy. We put the chocolate topping on the eclair. And smear it around with a brush. To make it look just like in the cartoon, we squeeze out a strip of cream from above. And we make a little nose out of it. That's it, this eclair is almost an exact replica as in the show. Of course, it doesn't have a million calories, but with this much cream, it might be close. So let's try it. This eclair is way tastier than what you can buy in stores. Very tasty cream and high quality dark chocolate. To be honest, I like the creamy one more, but this one is not bitter, unlike ordinary ones. If you want a continuation of these videos in which we recreate food from movies, cartoons, and TV series, then like this video for us. If we get 350,000 likes, then we will make a new video. Write in the comments which cartoons you like more, Scooby-Doo or The Simpsons. Personally, I vote for The Simpsons.